today's video, gents, I'm sharing with you over a dozen style secrets, things you can't see, which will make you more attractive. First up, let's talk about wallets. This wallet, gentlemen, is completely empty. If it was full, it would be twice as thick. Can you imagine having to sit on this thing all day? It's going to give you back issues. You don't want a big bulge on the back of your buttocks. Gentlemen, look for a thin wallet. I know it's not going to work for everyone, but for a lot of us, two to three credit cards, one ID, maybe a few bills right in here, that's all you need. Now, this right here is not a wallet. No, it's my grooming case all of my grooming products in one place. So, I can find them, I can use them weekly, and I can have clean nails. Guys, it's important. You can have, be wearing a $2,000 suit that fits you well and looks good, but if you've got nasty looking nails, yeah, you just ruined the whole look. And speaking of ruining things, learn to leverage the power of wood with your shoes. We're talking cedar wood trees. These go right in there and they maintain the shape of the shoe and they actually help to pull out moisture. And right with the wooden shoe tree, let's talk about the wooden hanger, especially the wooden hanger that has shape right here in the shoulder. This is what you need for your suit. You can also use this if you hang sweaters or if you hang really nice shirts and you don't want to have the nipples right here on the end of the shirt. And speaking of nipples, let's talk about the protective powers of the undershirt. So, you may know that undershirts do a great job of protecting your more expensive clothing like dress shirts from your sweat, from dirt, from grime. But what you may not know is, hey, if you're going to be, you know, you nippling out, it's cold at work. You don't want to be showing the world your nipples. Guys, undershirts do a great job of making it a little bit less embarrassing. But if you're wearing a white shirt, should you wear a white undershirt? No. The answer is you should go with either a nude or a gray. Why would you go with either of these colors? They're just less likely to show under the white and the light whenever you're wearing that white shirt. Now, this next style secret I'm going to reveal is based off research I read in the International Journal of Cosmetic Science. So, over at the University of Liverpool, they were doing this research about how fragrances affect our mindset. Now, there's a lot of research out there and a lot of it's inconclusive, but these guys took a different approach. They had men apply a fragrance that they liked. Basically, they had them choose a signature scent. They then recorded the guys in interviews talking and interacting with other people. So, they then took those videos and they showed them to a random sampling of women. The results were this. Men that were comfortable with the way they smelled, they had a signature scent and it amplified their natural smell, were rated as more attractive. Now, gents, why this is so interesting is because the women who rated them were not able to smell them. What happened is the fragrance affected the man. Think about it, gents. When you've got a signature scent, basically what you have here is liquid courage. It makes you feel better. It's how it affects you, not how it affects other people. Right now, my signature scent, Zaharoff Signature Pour Homme. And gents, if you would like a free sample, it's yours. All you have to do is fill out the form down in the description. Guys, I've known George Zaharoff, the creator of this fragrance for over a decade. I've been part of his journey as he searched the world for all the ingredients that go into this. So, to describe it in detail, let's talk about the notes. So, for the top notes, we've got fresh cardamom from Guatemala, lavender from southern France, black pepper, juicy pear, and blue cypress. In the heart middle notes, we've got ginger root from India, blonde cedar from Virginia, temple oud from Indonesia, florentine, pimento leaves from Jamaica, fir balsam from Canada. In the base notes, we've got creamy sandalwood from Australia, gold patchouli from Indonesia, black amber, myrrh, and frankincense from Ethiopia. Gents, this is not your run-of-the-mill fragrance. It is masculine. It is strong. It's got a very sensual feel to it. If you're out there looking for something new, you want something that's going to get compliments, you want something that's going to last all day, I'm going to say that you want to go try Zaharoff. Gents, to get your free sample, use the link down in the description. You're going to have to fill out a quick form so they can send it to you, but George is a great guy. Go support him. If nothing else, maybe just write him a note and say, George, love what you're doing. This guy is amazing. He's a good friend and I'm proud to support him. So, the next secret that separates stylish men from the rest, they actually know how to use skincare products. So, right here, we've got a tonic. What is a tonic? Most guys don't even know what this is. You use something like this to actually reduce and get rid of really oily skin. So, if you're going to be on camera, if you're going to be giving a presentation, you don't want those lights all of a sudden to reflect off and blind everyone you're giving a presentation to. No, you know how to deal with that situation. Yes, when you use and you know how to use the right skincare products, all of a sudden, you're going to set yourself apart from the rest and people are going to focus in on what you want to show them, not, you know, your really reflective skin. The next secret that separates the men from the boys, knowing what razors suit your skin type. Guys, for some of you, disposable 
double blades are gonna work fine. Other people, yeah, cartridges are gonna be just fine. But for so many of you guys, you're gonna need something different. You're gonna need maybe a safety razor. You're gonna need a one blade razor. You maybe need a straight razor. You may wanna go electric razor, but guys, find out what works for you and then leverage that. And on that same note, guys, use nose trimmers, especially if you're a taller guy. Everyone's looking up to you. What do they see? A forced shooting right out of your nose. Guys, leverage the nose trimmer at least once a week. Let's talk about your hair. When it comes to your hairstyle, there's actually five components. First, we've got the haircut. Next up, we've got the products you use on a daily basis to clean your hair. Next up, we've got the styling products. After that, we have the tools that you use to style your hair. And then we've got finally, how do you let your hair dry? So starting off with your haircut, this one's a no-brainer of how it affects your hairstyle. If you have shorter hair, you got to stick with shorter hairstyles. You have longer hair, then it needs to be cut in a way that you can go for longer styles. But what you may not know is this really only has about a 40% effect on the total equation whenever you're actually styling your hair. Next up, we've got the hair cleaning products. These make up about 10% of the equation and they do have an effect because the shampoo, if you overuse this, it can damage your hair. And what about conditioner? What does conditioner do for your hair? Imagine this is a hair follicle. Conditioner will attach to the outside of the follicle and give it a bit more volume. It's also going to affect the properties of the hair, causing it to oftentimes lay flatter. And whenever you're combing the hair, brushing the hair, it's going to be softer. Next up, guys, we've got hair products. There are a wide variety of hair products out there, and the best ones are going to describe what they will do with your hair. In general, you're going to find products will hold your hair will provide shine to your hair and will increase volume. Next up, let's talk about the tools of the trade. Depending on which brush or comb you use, you're going to get a totally different look with your hair. So many guys don't know this and it's really an easy thing just to go out there and buy a variety of brushes and try it for yourself on your own hair. Something like this is going to give you volume. A brush like this is going to bring down the hair and get rid of curls. A brush like this has holes through it so that you can use a hair dryer and you can toss the hair brush like this or like this is going to comb down the hair. And let's not forget, how do you let your hair dry? If you let it dry naturally, it should stick with the look that you just styled. On the other hand, if you want to add volume, you want to look to add height, look to use a hair dryer. Now, this next tip is for you bigger guys out there, and that's to start wearing suspenders, especially when you're wearing a suit. Yeah, no one's going to see the suspenders, but they're going to be infinitely more comfortable than a belt. You think about how a belt works. It actually cinches and it puts pressure in and around the waist, but that assumes that your waist is actually smaller than your hips. For a lot of bigger guys, that's not the case. So, everything's going to fall down, even if you're wearing a belt. When you're wearing suspenders, however, this is not the issue and it's a lot more stylish, much more comfortable and just looks better than you pulling up your pants all day. Now, gents, if you've been watching my channel for a few months and you don't know what this style secret is, come on. Guys, the shirt garter. Right here, this attaches to the bottom of your shirt. This attaches to the top of your socks. It keeps your shirt tucked in all day. And what if you interact with people? What if you get up close? Guys, always make sure you've got clean breath. You want to make sure to use a tongue scraper. You want to make sure to use gum after you eat. And you want to make sure to drink water. A dry mouth is what leads to bad breath. And just curious, any of you guys out there, bankers, lawyers, consultants, teachers, anyone who a signature means a big deal, you should have a nice pen. Because whenever you give somebody a pen to sign something, you give them a plastic pen, it'll get the job done. But yeah, it's a plastic pen. Guys, if you have a nice pen, this is a way to instantly send the message and it should have some weight to it. Wow, nice pen. Just make sure you don't lose it. So what video to watch next? How about my picks for the top colognes that are going to get you noticed? Right here, the top 10 fragrances that are going to get you compliments. Guys, I'm linking to this video down in the description.